I think it was more like a, an order than a request. Are you surprised? Well, frankly, nothing surprises me about your case anymore. Is this my case? Or is it somebody else's? How much do you know? I don't know anything. I just happened to speak to Tiffany. She's spoken to Sean. Sean spoke to you. So I got this fourth hand. Who's counting? Me. Me. Don't you think I'd want this first hand, seeing as it's my neck on the line? That may be about to change quite soon. Cheryl's confession means that I'm cleared? Mm, not yet, but we're getting there. She says she fired two shots from the balcony. Is that right? Yeah. She's protecting someone, Anna. She wouldn't admit that, but I can tell. Who? She wouldn't say. But you know. Well, I would like to know whose crime I'm paying for right now. Her companion on the balcony that evening was uh, Julian Jerome. What? He's alive, Anna. He's involved in this up to his neck. How can he be alive? He's alive? I haven't had the chance to interrogate him yet. But you think he shot Olivia? Well, I'm as convinced as I can be with that hard evidence. But you think he shot her? Well, what the hell am I doing still in here, then? That's, uh, that's a long story. Oh, please bore me. I mean, I think I've got the time, haven't I? Do you have the other two in custody? Not at the moment. What are you waiting for? We had, Cheryl. Oh, you lost her? Robert? But why, why do I get the feeling that suddenly my, my life is coming to an end and you just don't have the guts to tell me? I had a plan. It didn't quite work out. Really? What happened? Well, I let Cheryl go. At least that's what I wanted her to think. Put a tail on her. Figuring that she'd lead us straight to the Jerome kid. All right. That part worked out quite well. So they met, did they? On the docks early this evening. But you didn't get them? No. Why? Because your busybody husband blunted into the trap that we'd set and sprung it. Now, if he kept his bid out, we would have had them both in custody by now. Yeah, what's he having? Oh, uh, you should be out trying to find Julian. No, Charles, I'm a man. Leave me alone. Found this on him. Thank you. That'll be all. You want to tell me what you were doing over at Victor's with a loaded gun? Trying to get answers like what you should be doing. How did you find out about Julian? What difference does it make? It makes all the difference if you happen to know something that I don't. What, so you can avoid the issue of the real problem, is that it? The problem is mine, not yours. I'm a little bit fed up with this official force you use. You strut about like a bloody peacock, barking out orders, pretending you really care to get suspects, when that's the last thing in your mind. What I want is you out of my hair, Lavery. And who's going to watch for crooked cobs? That's what you call an officer of law, isn't it? Whenever well, he allows a suspect to go free because she happens to be his lover. You do anything to keep Cheryl out of jail, my right? Listen to me! And I'll say this once. For your sake and your wife's, you don't run around pointing guns at mob kingpins. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up sleeping with the fishes. Don't waste your time worrying about me, sir. I can take care of myself. If you could, you wouldn't be here. Now, I'll try to make this real simple for you. You interfere in my business one more time, I'll accommodate you at the expense of the city. Then you can sit in jail all day and hold hands with your wife. If you're really serious about finding Julian, why don't you start at the most obvious place? Go talk to his father. Don't tell me how to do my job, Lavery. And he'll probably tell you that he doesn't know anything, but you can take that with a pinch of salt. Soon as you can take the fact, he'll tell you he's an invalid and can't get around without a wheelchair. They really put you in the crossfire this time, haven't they? I didn't take this job to make any friends. You didn't take it to lose any either, did you? That really can't be helped. Look, all I really want to do is pin Cheryl and the Jerome kid and find out once and for all what happened that fateful night in the St. John apartment. I just need some time. I just hope I can give it to you. 
After watching that jury today, I wouldn't count on winning this case in court. If Anna's going to be saved, it's up to you, Robert. And we'll use Blue Squad to cover the North End. The real world gets bigger and bigger, doesn't it? Any luck? Oh, absolutely. You found a whole new packet of colored pins here. It makes the map look a lot more official. They disappeared? They've got to be somewhere, Jake. Still in Port Charles, at least with Julian's father here. Besides, I have all the airports, train stations, stuff like that covered. Well, you deserve the Prince of the Year award after last night, letting Duke Lavery go. The man was a walking firecracker. Look, Lavery runs a very nice bar. I run a very nice police station and a jail, which I'm more than happy to introduce him to if he screws up any more of my arrests. Look, all Anna would need is to have her husband put under arrest. <sighs> I call it protective custody. Listen, how's Baldwin going to react when we come up with this new evidence regarding, uh... Uh, Julian Jerome and uh, Miss Stansbury. <laughs> He'll deny it, no doubt. Hmm. Baldwin thinks he's on a roll and has a great case. Why would he let us rock the boat? Yeah, without Cheryl, he does have a great case. I'll see if I can get that continuance. Give you time to find them and develop some new evidence. I need all the time you can give me. Every minute. I'll Come in. My best. <clears throat> you, Commissioner. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't need this. It's a summons. Bloody hell. Baldwin wants me to testify today. General Hospital, brought to you by the Pillsbury Company, makers of great tasting quality foods for your family. Just a few minutes. Give him hell, Jack. I intend to. Well, um, are you holding up? Better. So we're policemen again today? You know I'd never do anything to hurt you. Nice, you absolutely had to. Look, if you'd been on the dock about to arrest Julian Jerome for a crime that Anna Lavery's accused of, you'd have thrown Duke in the harbour. Well, I suppose you supported Jake in the continuance. I bet the DA's office loved that. I suppose we can stop bickering long enough to uh, get a few straight answers. What's the question? Where's your scuzzy husband? He'll be here later. He had some business to take care of. More important than this? Jake told him that there'd be some delays, and there are. Uh, Commissioner, as a witness, you'll have to step outside until you're called. Court's about ready to begin. We'll talk later. Naturally. Oh, well, Commissioner, how's the time for his boss to marry to Anna? Oh, it's impossible to say right now. They're in the recess. Are you still on speaking terms with Anna? We both regret the situation at how's present. Ro how's Robin going to feel about your testifying against yeah. her mommy? That's none of your damn business. And I would advise Listen. the press to keep a civil... Commissioner, yeah, the judge would like to see you in his chambers. Are you going to fight for the maximum penalty in case Olivia dies? The girl dies. I am.